Welcome to this Rugby Rovers FC podcast as Rugby Rovers take on Diego Juniors. Diego Juniors have just made their debut into this league with four games remaining. Most of the players in Diego Juniors team are brand new apart from one player. So this is the team lineup for Rugby Rovers. So in goal is our interim manager for today and our goalkeeper Ross Andrews. Our main man, Kieran Baxter, couldn't make the game this evening due to illness. So, our centre-back partnership consists of Jareff Wesley and making his one-time Rugby Rovers FC debut is Stuart Andrews. The former Wimbledon SC player has dropped down to the Sun, has dropped down to the Leisure Leagues to play for us here this evening for this one game. And also starting up front we have Matt, who will be starting on the bench. And Quincy will be our lone striker, although I believe Damien Brown would play in a CDM role. So join us for the first half as Adam, the referee for the, for the night, has added, has been given, or gives out, should I say, the Rugby Rovers FC Bibbs, who will be playing in yellow. Fresh from the wash, I've just been told. And the other team, Diego Juniors, have just arrived. So join us for the first half very, very soon as Ruby Rovers FC take on Diego Juniors. So, you join us for Ruby Rovers FC against Diego Juniors. This is Diego Juniors' first game in charge despite taking Street Boys' points. So, we're just waiting confirmation from Adam to start the match. And don't forget, Quincy is our sole striker tonight with Matt on the bench. Stuart Andrews is making his one-time only Ruby Rovers FC debut so let's see if there's an impact and we're underway for the game so Diego Juniors pass back straight away Quincy trying to go for instant pressure straight away Diego Juniors trying to break down the right hand side of the pitch back towards their centre back towards their other centre back and Quincy trying to chase the ball he's doing some fantastic marking so far Quincy going for a tackle and Jara straight away going for the loose ball that's presented back heels towards Damien Brown and Damien oh Oh, here we go. And Jareth, and the ball goes out for a goal kick to Rugby Rovers. So Ross passes short to Stuart Andrews, his first touch as a Rugby Rovers FC player. And look at this, Stuart Andrews immediately pointing out where he wants the ball to go. And that's 1-0 to Diego Juniors already. Some good ideas from Stuart Andrews being shown. His first touch was a very successful one. And Stuart Andrews again, his first step over. Don't forget, Stuart Andrews has played at professional level before. He's played for Wimbledon FC back in the 1980s. So he has uh, the experience. Oh, what a, what a step over there from Stuart Andrews. And again, what skill. Oh, and lucky there was no options available for him. He was closed down by two Diego Juniors players. And Quincy and Stuart Andrews. Looks like Stuart Andrews is supposed to be pushing up for a striker role. Jarrett stays on him, but he's left some space open on the right. Has a shot, and that's 2 0 to Diego Juniors. Not a good start so far for Ruby Rovers FC. Obviously, again, well wishes to our manager, Kieran Baxter, who is unfortunately ill tonight, so he can't join us. We send our well wishes here at Ruby Rovers FC. And Ross Andrews has had his goal kick intercepted straight away, but luckily he's got it back. Now, Adam's calling for quicker play. I can't really blame him, but that throw from Ross Andrews, where does that go? That's gone to White Hart Lane, it's where it's gone to. Oh wait, I shouldn't say that because Ross is an Arsenal supporter, never mind. But Diego Juniors again, breaking down the right hand side of the pitch, back towards one of their centre backs. More skill being shown from Diego Juniors, towards the right -hand, left hand side of the pitch, Stuart Andrews, man marking the player. And the long through ball from Street, oh and look at that. And Damien on the ball with a great interception, tries to pass towards Quincy, Stuart Andrews again. Showing that Wimbledon FC experience, what a great pass from Stuart Andrews. Shame we can't get him on a full-time contract. And Quincy trying to get an attack, but it was quickly intercepted by the Diego Juniors players. Two of the Diego Junior players know our captain and founder, Damien Brown. And look at this. Oh, and Diego Juniors, oh no. That is now, I believe, four? Three nil. Yes, it's three nil. Not a good start. <laughs> now, we need, Ruby Rose needs to do something, otherwise they're in for a long, long night. Quincy trying to feed in Damien Brown, who seems to be pushing up for as a striker. 
Jareff, and somehow has that gone in, has it? No, it's gone wide. Thankfully, it's gone wide. So it's still 3 0. Ross Andrews with the, with the goal throw tries to pick up Quincy, but immediately gets closed out. And again, oh, what a block! What a block there from, De from Stuart Andrews. And again, Stuart Andrews. Long free ball back for Diego Juniors. And, and again, towards the right side of the pitch, back towards their centre back. They're showing great possession so far. Our Diego Juniors in their debut match. And again, breaking down the right hand side of the pitch, has a shot! And it's been deflected by Jareth Wesley. It goes out for a Diego Joan Juniors corner. Digger Junior's corner into oh <laughs> another corner, good block from uh, from Stuart Andrews, but somehow it's been given as a goal kick, very surprisingly. Now Stuart Andrews again showing us that international experience. Oh, he's dumbfounded one of the players. He's literally done him over. Is what he's just done, FIFA style play, and it's been intercepted. And it's gone out for a. Is it? It's a goal kick. Very surprising, another goal kick has been given, surprisingly. Ross Andrews, our standing goalkeeper again, tries to pick out Damien Brown. Damien Brown down the right hand side of the pitch, but it's gone straight out and nearly into the cupboard. Ross Andrews show, shouting out some more encouragement. Quincy trying to do it. Stuart Andrews with the, with the late tackle, misses him completely. Digger Juniors with another, closing in fully past. And again, instead of going for the shot, they passed it back again in Diego Juniors. Diego Juniors again on the right hand side, left hand side of the goal towards their centre back. He has a shot, but it's gone high, wide, and handsome into Sainsbury's, is where it's gone. And Matt has been substituted on for Damien Brown. Almost straight away, the ball's gone out for a corner to Diego Juniors, straight away. It's, again, Ross Andrews trying to shout some more encouragement. And again, and Damien's trying to get in on the act as well. What a block from Matt. Great blocking from Matt. Some encouragement from Damien and Trafford, who is spectating the match, as I am. And Quincy with a decisive clearance. Very rare to see Clint Quincy come out that far back out of position. And Diego Juniors again with the corner. It is still 3-0 to Diego Juniors. Maybe Rovers need to find a goal back fast. And oh! How did Diego Juniors not score that? On his right foot, and it's sliced over the crossbar. Ross, again, going down towards the back. Quincy up front, oh, and lucky. That was some good build-up play there from Quincy and Ross. Very good play. And look at this again. Diego Juniors on the right-hand side of the pitch. Back towards their centre-back. They seem to be playing more of a possession style of play. Oh no, I speak too soon. I've gone down the left side of the pitch. Stuart Andrews, with some great man marking. Once again being shown and again back towards the right side of the goal from Diego Juniors back towards their centre back again they and again towards the right Jarrett trying to make a wall which he has done and look at that Matt now there's a chance for a counter attack from Ruby Rovers oh but it's a too much touch Un unlucky for Ruby Rovers unlucky that was a chance for a good counter attack oh as Stuart Andrews almost gets a cracking block in is it going to be four? No, well block again from Jareth. And a foul has been, has been awarded to, uh, to Diego Juniors against Ruby Rovers. And again, Diego Juniors again, showing some more step overs. Passing it back towards the there of a player. Towards the right side of the goal. Passes back towards the midfielder. Towards their left midfielder. And again, Matt's pushing very far back, which is very, very unusual. Oh, good save from Ross Andrews with his left foot. And it goes out for another corner to Diego Juniors. I know Ross Andrews has got a task between a, a goalkeeper and a manager, but he's got to think of what... Oh, another fantastic save from Ross Andrews. And again, Ross Andrews is alert to get rid of his surroundings. Quincy again showing his strength. Quincy with the shot. Oh, good save from the Diego Juniors goalkeeper. That's Ruby Rose's first shot on target of the whole match. Again, Diego Juniors. What a tackle from Stewart. What a tackle. Is he going to score? No, the, the touch was too much. 
The touch was too much from Stuart Andrews. The fame got too much, and he cracked into pressure. A bit like Denny Alley. And another shot from Diego Junius goes wide. Come on! Trafford trying to shout some encouragement to the Rovers players. Stuart Andrews gets the ball back from Ross. Stuart Andrews to Quincy, who. Oh! Reflex save from Ross Andrews, inadvertently flicked on by Quincy. I'm so glad Ross Andrews is awake there, unlike Arsenal's goalkeeping as of late, although I can't say that much. Come on! Digger Genius again, back down the right hand side of the pitch, towards the midfield. Quincy comes in like a steam train and tackles the, the Digger Genius player. Matt again trying to get involved, but there's no support happening. The left side is, the right side is completely open. Stuart Andrews with another good interception. And look at this, Matt on the right hand side of the pitch has a shot, gets blocked. No, it's not a corner. We Ruby Rovers players thought it was a corner. And what a block from Sharif. Well, when Stuart nearly falls over under the pressure. Oh, what a good save again from Ross Andrews. The score is still 3-0. I'm running the first half. This is a good first half so far from Rugby Rovers. Quincy with a rebound, but unlucky Quincy. If he got there a little bit quicker, he would have scored. And again a shot, and now it's four. It is 4-0 to Diego Juniors. Come on. Some of the Rugby Rovers players still believe they can get a goal. There was quite a few chances where we could have scored through Stuart Andrews and Quincy Garcia. Stuart Andrews again. At, oh, tries to tries to make a pass shot, if you can call that something. And again, is it going to be five? Oh, what a shot from Diego Junes, but blocked by Jarrett. Quincy down the left hand side. There's a shot just wide of the post. Unlucky from Quincy. That was a great shot. Stuart Andrews again watching the man of Diego Junes. There's a shot, and now it is five. Five nil to Diego Juniors. Some of the heads maybe from Rugby Rovers might still be encouraged. Some of them might have gone down. But I still believe there's still a chance. And again, Diego Juniors. But Matt's there to get the loose ball. Man, what's Matt gonna do? Pass it shot, has a shot straight at the Diego Juniors goalkeeper. Easy for him to collect. Quincy with a very good tackle. And again, shows his strength. Shoves him off. Well, not literally shoves him, otherwise it would have been a foul. Quincy, Stuart Andrews. Oh no, that's a unlucky pass but Stuart Andrews makes a men for that mistake and gets it back flicks it back towards Matt uh, who gets dispossessed by the Diego Juniors player and again here we go again Diego Juniors again oh what a block from from Jarif. almost said Quincy but Quincy's too far up the pitch but look at this, again, Matt. Matt's been all over the place so far in his first half. He's been striker, midfielder, then defender, apart from goalkeeper. That's the only position he hasn't been. Quincy trying to make a break down the right-hand side, but it didn't come so much in the end. And it is a... F it's a foul. Because he kicked it, apparently. So, Ruby Rovers have got a free kick. Very promising position. Can we get a goal? Oh, it's been instantly blocked. Oh, Quincy, ooh, unlucky, a low-driven shot, but it was easy to collect from the Diego Juniors goalkeeper. Diego Juniors again, that's a shot, good block from Stuart Andrews, and the rebound shot was easy to collect from our standing goalkeeper, Ross Andrews. Matt, passes it to Quincy. Quincy passed it back on to Matt, flips it against the wall. Matt, showing more pressure, but easy for the street, for the uh, Diego Juniors goalkeeper. I don't know why I keep saying street to for some reason. Diego Juniors again, trying to break down through the middle. Pass it to the right side, that's a shot, and then now it is, well, shall we say seven? Yeah, it is six. Six nil, is it? Yes, I'm being told it's six nil. Another, Stuart Andrews again, working with Quincy. We seem to be seeing a new partner form, formation happening, well, partnership happening between Stuart Andrews and Quincy. But then again, let me remind you, another shot. Good save from Ross Andrews. And need I remind you, Stuart Andrews is only in for this game, just for this one game. So we've gone on a one game contract. So his contract would expire after this match. Which is a shame, really. We wish we, wish we played him full time, but we could only get him for this game. So, so thank you to Stuart Andrews for actually helping us in this game tonight.
Anyway, back to the match. Still 6 0 to Diego Jr. So nice. As soon as I say that, it is 7. The left, end, the left midfielder with a fantastic shot about 25 yards out. It goes straight in. Nothing that Ross Andrews could do. Damien wanted to come on for Quincy, but he's going to wait for a good time to come on. And flicked on by Stuart Andrews. Again, showing his Wimbledon FC prowess and a foul has been given. But again, quick free kick has been taken by Ruby Rovers. Stuart Andrews down the right hand side trying to shield the ball. Stuart Andrews still got the ball in the corner. He's literally been kept to the corner. Oh, but well, unlucky. That was a good opportunity. But Quincy mainly pats back on it, turns it round. And a foul has been given, unfortunately. Ross Andrews is annoyed because that could have been a good opportunity. Oh, no. And now it is 9. It is 9-0 in the first half. Quincy has now come off for Damian Brown. So it's now Digger Jr.'s 9, Ruby Rovers FC 0. We will score soon. We will score soon. It is going to be coming because remember in the last game, Mitch scored in the second half. And again, Ross Andrews is saying there's something work. There's not something working in the formation, so it looks like he may do a change at half time. Diego Juniors again, breaking through the middle. This is where they've been dangerous this whole match. Stuart Andrews with some fantastic step overs and skill. Pass it across to Matt. Unlucky. Good try from Stuart Andrews trying to pick out Matt. Diego Juniors again. Flick on, but Jarev gets it back. Jarev calm under pressure. Stuart. Matt. Oh, unlucky. Matt sliced his shot and it is half time. It is now, well, it is now at half time. Digger Juniors 9, Ruby Rovers FC 0. So we will see you shortly for the second half between Ruby Rovers and Diego Juniors. Just being told now it is in fact 8-0, not 9, so chalk that ninth goal off for now. A late, uh, eighth minute, oh, an eighth goal was scored a late, a minute goal, and we're back underway for the second half now between Ruby Rovers and Digger Juniors. Ross with a shot straight away, Quincy's gone in goal for Ross Andrews, because Ross Andrews feels that he will make an impact, and Quincy's in goal for now. Damien Brown tries to put it on, that's a shot, good save from Quincy. Quincy and goalkeeper, that's something we wouldn't hear very often, but it has happened in the past. Ross Andrews tries to get the ball back. Digger Genius again on the left hand side, right hand side of the pitch. Has a shot, slices it wide. And again, Digger Genius in possession. Ross Andrews with a tackle. Again, Damien trying to tackle. Matt's trying to put him into pressure. And again, they're back in possession. Digger Juniors. Digger Juniors again. Has a shot off the post. Oh, and another long range, and now it's 9-0. Digger Juniors with a shot to the right of the goal, and it's 9-0. Quincy with a long throw, shades of, uh, should I say now, Ben Foster. Oh, no, Matt's intercept. the Matt ball has been intercepted, and it's 10. 10-0 to Diego Juniors. Kieran Baxter, if you could see this now, oh dear. But Matt, though, good tackle from Matt. Matt again, sliced, unlucky, trying to pick up Ross Andrews. And again, Digger Juniors with the right inside through the middle. There's no marking. Where's he gone? And now it is 11. 11 0 to Diego Juniors. The Rugby Rovers marking has been all over the place, just as shame as their positioning. And Ross Andrews lost control off the, off the throw and he's panicked. But look at but look at Jareth. Calm pass towards Damien Brown, who now breaks towards the right hand side of the goal. Little roulette turn. And Ross, ooh, unlucky. If Diego Jesus hadn't made that in made that little interception, Ross would have been in and scored. And it is a foul being committed by uh, Diego Juniors, and it's a free kick being given to Ruby Rovers, who's been taken short. Back from Ross to Damien. Back towards Ross from a great pass from Damien Brown to the right hand side. Matt's been pushing all over the place, bless him. He's been trying to get service this whole match. Ross has, has done something quite comical, but I didn't see what it was. And now, oh, it's been sliced over and wide. A let off for Ruby Rovers. It, by the way, it is still 13 0. 
to uh, to Diego Juniors on their debut match. Don't forget, Diego Juniors have taken over from Street Boys, and they're still on the same point as them. Good save again from Quincy. Kicked out long, and it's been given as a goal kick to Diego Juniors. Diego Juniors passes it back from their goalkeeper straight to their centre back. And again, passes it out wide. Out into the left hand side of the pitch. What can he do? It has a shot and it goes wide. Underneath the. Uh, and Stewart is coming on now for Jareth Wesley. Still 13 0 to uh, Diego Juniors. Jareth is, is saying, Are you sure that's a good idea to bring Stuart Andrews on? Well, then again, Ross is the uh, interim manager of the club. Well, for now, until Kieran Baxter come, recovers from his illness. But again, we send our well wishes towards Kieran Baxter, who we wish will get home, well, get well very, very soon in time for our next match against Puskas SC next Thursday. And again, Digo Juniors have just cut open our defence like butter. Oh, and he sliced the ball, a let off from Diego, a let off from Ruby Rovers, beg your pardon. But Quincy's got the, got the slice shot. Stuart Andrews again, showing us why he used to play at professional level for Wimbledon. Has a shot, oh, well blocked from the Diego Juniors players. And again, and again, Diego Juniors, good save again from Quincy. Quincy is definitely, if Steve Mauer can see this, I think, Quincy might be another contender, although Quincy's preferred to Oh, as soon as I say that, it's now 16 0. Well, I did say it's a lot of practice to be perfect. That is correct, I'm just being told. You need a lot of practice to be perfect to goalkeeping. It is a hard position in football. And Matt has been given away possession again. But look at Stuart Andrews. Great recovery. Oh, no! Stuart Andrews' pass dumbfounded Quincy, and it very nearly ended up in the net. But luckily for Rugby Rovers, it's gone out for a. Gone out for a corner. Now, Diego Juniors from the corner. Good save again from Quincy. Oh, here we go again. And here we go. Again, another corner from Diego Juniors. Diego Juniors centre back. Passes out wide. And a shot that's just gone into Sainsbury's is where it's gone. And once again, Sainsbury would be, Sainsbury'd be quite busy tonight. Matt to Ross Andrews and it's been and again Stuart Andrews showing some great composure but he gets dispossessed and now it is 16 nil to uh, Diego Juniors I don't know how many more goals Ruby Rose is going to concede Diego Juniors have been on form this evening against Ruby Rovers who have been underperforming at the moment well Underperforming in this match, shall we say? A shot, great save by Quincy again. And Ross is now going to be substituting himself off for Jareth, trying to rescue something from this game. Can Ruby Rovers get a consolation goal? Another shot has been blocked. The score is 16 0. Is it 17? Yep, it's 17. 17 0 now to Diego Juniors. We've only had one, no, we've had three shots on target and unfortunately they've all been saved by the goalkeeper. Now Matt down the left-hand side. And Ross, oh, here we go, oh, no, I beg your pardon, Ross is off the pitch and Jarrett's been dragged out of position. Jarrett's trying to race back as far as he can. Well recovered from Jarrett, well recovered. Great block with the right of his fight, great block. Stuart, can he get him? No. Digger Juniors and now it is 18 nil. I believe it's 18, if I'm, if I'm right in saying. Yes, I think it's 18. Okay, so I'm being told, oh, the ball has just gone behind me, almost into the cupboard. You don't hear that on a football podcast very often. And I've just been told the man of the match for today's match is Jareth Wesley. And we'll hear that very shortly from our interim manager, Ross Andrews. But anyway, back to the match. And again, it's 19. This game is definitely, well and truly, the intended, buried. This match is buried. 
I mean, we've had worse defeats. I mean, we've had 22 nil losses. But Stuart Andrews again towards Ross, who rolls it on, on towards Matt. Damien with a good tackle. Ross quickly sorted out the goal because there was a little issue with it. It looks like Diego Juniors are on another planet tonight. They're literally taking their time with the possession and the ball. But Stuart Andrews again with great possession. Look at Damien Brown, miss heavy touched, and it's wide. It looks like the heads are down at Ruby Rovers. The centre backs are doing the best they can to try and withstand this onslaught. Oh no, and now it is 19 0. Is it 19 0? Yes, I believe it's so. Stewart's now off for Quincy. Is it, I'm, I'm being told, is it 19 0? We think it's 19 0. Is it going to be 20 0? Shot sliced by Diego Juniors. And if Ruby Rovers aren't careful, we're going to reach. We're going to, it's going to reach into the twenties if we're not careful. Quincy again towards Jareth, who miss slices the pass. And again, Jareth trying to make amends for it. He's committed. Quincy trying to drop back and get the ball. Digger Juniors again passes that wide, and again. And uh, wait, 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 and again, a great tackle there again from Jareth. Quincy trying to get possession back for Rovers. Damon Bradsby not meant as a shot, and now it's twenty. It is 20 nil to Diego Juniors. Diego Juniors have been rampant, absolutely rampant here tonight. Matt again trying to get possession and he immediately gets closed down. Now was that inside the box? Adam says no. Oh wait, Adam says yes it is inside the box. So it's been given as a goal kick to Ruby Rovers. And that has been what we've so far been able to win and Adam nearly gets taken out by Ross Andrews. Now, now, Ross, you don't need to take out with referees now. Oh, a shot from Quincy. I just saw that. Goes what go, gets saved by the Diego Juniors goalkeeper. That's now four shots on target. Is it going to be 21? 20, is it 21 nil? Is it? No, they're taking their time now, Diego Juniors. Passing the ball back. Just, just doing a FIFA tactic at the moment. Pass the move, but Jareth. Shields it away and Ross Andrews collects. Ross Andrews tries to pick up Quincy. What a great touch from Quincy. Matt, oh, he tries to pick up Matt. But Matt acknowledges the mistake. Good save from Ross Andrews from the shot from Diego Juniors. Diego Juniors, what again? And again, what a flick on from Diego Juniors. That's a shot. Good save again from Ross Andrews. And Quincy immediately gets the ball back. But it's been given as a foul. Oh no, it's play on. Play on now. Damon Brown, left hand side of the goal. Has a shot, but it's been sliced and blocked straight towards the Diego Juniors goalkeeper. Come on. Diego Juniors again. Passing down to the right. Down to the left hand side of the goal. Towards the midfield. Jarrett again trying to get the ball. Unlucky. Jones on his ass, and the shot goes wide. And Trafford, again for the second game in the row, has nearly had his head taken off by the ball. So again, Trafford has almost put himself at the firing line. Quincy tried to do a roulette, but it, um, but it went horribly wrong, just like the gambling sites. Good save from Ross Andrews again from the Diego Junior's shot. Quincy again trying to get shot, but the touch from Quincy. Oh dear, oh dear. And I think Ross and uh, Stuart have just shared a little bit of banter, saying why we can see so many goals. He's now seeing it firsthand. But the Ruby Rovers' heart always beats high. No matter what scores we get, we always play high and we always play to the best of our abilities here in the Leisure Leagues. And again, a shot, sliced, almost a FIFA finish from Diego Juniors. It was nearly 21 0, but luckily it has gone wide of the goal. Now, Ross Andrews, what's he going to do? Try to pick, picks out Matt. He tried to pick out Damien, but Quincy's got the rebound. Damien to the left hand side of the goal. Damien trying to shield the ball. He's been closed down instantly, and Quincy tries to get the rebound. They've... And Diego Junior sliced it, but Diego Junior's were in control the whole entire time. And here we go again. Diego Junior's again down the right hand side of the pitch. Left hand side. And now it's 21 0 to Diego Juniors. This has just been a shambolic performance. 
if Kieran was would hear. But I'm saying here, there is room for improvement as Matt tries to go for a shot, but it immediately gets blocked by Street Tuggers. Well, not Street Tuggers, the Diego Juniors goalkeeper. If I was Diego Juniors now, I'd just park the bus. I mean, it's what, it's what they're trying to do. But they're pushing for more and more goals. Jarrah's trying to go for the ball. And again, Diego Juniors. Pass it back again to the left hand side of the goal. To the right as a shot. Good save from Ross Andrews. Fantastic right, left footed, uh, left armed shot save from Ross Andrews. We better be careful. This might not be our largest ever defeat, which is 22 0. So we better be careful. We don't want to go over that. Good save from Ross Andrews. He slightly injured his ankle as a result of that save. And there's a random ball just come on the pitch which has been quickly cleared off. Diego Juniors again. Passing possession round. They're taking their time. All of the Ruby Rovers players, apart from Quincy and Matt, have all pushed back. Trying to, trying to make a wall sort of uh, position. But again, as soon as Diego Juniors get ball, oh no, I said that again. Quincy, Adam got in the way and almost got tripped up. Again, you don't see that during a podcast. And Quincy trying to get another uh, pass going. And again, here we go again. Diego Juniors again. Shot, and then another good save from uh, Ross Andrews. Quincy again. Now Quincy's on the counter. Oh, Quincy tries to go for a shot. He's going to pick it out, Matt. And then he gets blocked by the Diego Juniors goalkeeper. That's a shot. Another good save from Ross Andrews. Never great save. He'll feel that in the midriff tomorrow morning, I tell ya. Quincy. Quincy's on the Quincy's on the ball and Ross Andrews is feeling the pain of it already. And Quincy towards Matt. Matt with a shot and it's gone high, wide and over. And it's full time. 21-0 loss to Rugby Rovers. So full time. Diego Juniors, 21. Rugby Rovers FC nil. Heavy, heavy loss for Rugby Rovers here this evening. But hopefully in our next week's match against Puskas FC, hopefully this disastrous defending will be turned round when Kieran Baxter makes his return. So we are now about to do our interviews. So join us next week as we take on Puskas FC here on this Rugby Rovers podcast. See you next week.